Hello, my name is Daniel Graverson, and in this short video I'll give you uh, some insights on how you can u actually use uh, the authentication mechanism for web services. For for me it seems like there should be an option for cr creating web services called uh, where I w was saying it should be basic authentication with this one and I should say it's only administrators that are allowed to create this uh, make use this call if you don't have that everyone well this is specifically on 731 uh, 730 or 711 I've not tested it on this but on 731 there seems to be a bug with with this one whenever this uh, authentication mechanism is on you don't get any messages through so well let's just go through the setup in this uh, bean implementation of, of this web, web, web method uh, I say roles allowed as admin administrators and in this one I have the roles the the role that we're using here and then the server role both here is administrators so it should be fairly simple and then we say the roles are allowed and if we don't have this one on when we deploy it let's just have deploy this stuff and I have in this one I have deployed it two times well First off, here it's the, the normal endpoint, and we'll just use the get user. And this is, yeah, the service just returned that name I'm entering there. I try to log in here. And hopefully, we get an error saying that the principal JGUE guest has no authentication for this method otherwise I've seen something like with the system ID so that seems to be working what I've done to, to solve this problem is I have taken uh, just go into the Viva administrator and it's not there that Viva administrator here and in the SOA section, um, application scenario configuration, service administration. This one is called something with A, I remember. And in this one, I have I'll just delete the new one that I've created, just so you can see. This is the new one. I'm just gonna just delete this. And what I've done is I've just said select new one. Uh, use the ex ex existing service transport protocol. I've just said use basic authentication here and just finish. That means that we now get a VS VS. V Vistal, <laughs> it's one of the difficult words, and here in this one we have the original uh, endpoint and the new endpoint uh, that it's using for this. So that is the the old endpoint, and that will still give the same error. And in this request, it is the new endpoint, and here I'm logging in now with an invalid user user that does not exist and now it should hopefully return whatever I put in here so I hope this gives uh, an idea on how you can work around the the problem if you cannot use the DT uh, authentication on your web service and how the whole web service setup is working so hope you have uh, enjoyed it and uh, until next time goodbye